Hey guys, I am live on TikTok again. Uh, today we are going to be looming an Etsy order. The person ordered a mystery dino. So the colors that I have on the screen is what I'll be doing. Um, yeah, we'll be making a mystery dino. If you guys have any questions at all for me, definitely let me know. I will do my best to answer them for you. So today we're making a dinosaur for one of my Etsy orders. Um, they requested a mystery dino, so these are the colors that I have picked. Why don't you change to crochet? I don't know. I definitely have tried to crochet, and I just, I just don't like it as much. I don't know. But yeah, I do sometimes crochet, but it's not it's not my favorite hobby. Which is unfortunate because I I definitely know that crochet is more popular than rainbow loom, but it is what it is. Okay, currently we're making the dinosaur's arms and legs right now. That's what we're currently working on. We lost that brand low key. Oh, thank you for the likes. Oh, I am making a dinosaur for an Etsy order. So the arms and the legs that I'm making right now. So there's our first arm or leg and three more of those for any four. So keep it going.
Thank you for the likes. Oops. Oh wait, I put that on the wrong stitch, didn't I? Yeah, I did put that. No, I didn't. Let's go back. Okay. I don't know, I was like... Second guessing my judgment there for some reason. Why are you not using C clips? I don't like C clips, they're too small to use for a stitch marker. Your stitches are really loose. Do you do you stretch do you stretch the bands a lot? That's weird. Do you do you overstuff it? Do you add too much stuffing? If you overstuff it, that could stretch out the the stitches. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to see the stuffing between the stitches. I mean, if you can't see it through the stitches, it's not, it's not overstuffed. That's definitely weird. Like, I don't, I don't have any other suggestions for that. <laughs> yeah, definitely tried. Well, thank you for the follow. I've been looming for quite a long time, probably like 10 years maybe, since like 2013-2014 time frame.
Um, I'd probably say for the dinosaur, probably over an hour, maybe hour and a half. I I haven't timed myself making this lately. I don't really make the most of anything. I just, I I just either you know make what I want to make or make things that sell in my Etsy shop. Um, I, my favorite thing to make is probably, um, a turtle or I really like to make ducks. I don't really have a favorite song. Um, the song, you know, it's funny that you asked me that because the song that I seem to like a lot right now, I can't remember the name. It's like a, it's like kind of like country like song with Post Malone. I think it's like I had some help or something. It's 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 kind of embarrassing that I don't know the name, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's the song that I've been liking so far. Okay, there's all of our um, little arms and legs for our dinosaur. So now we can start on the dinosaur's head. Oh, thank you for sharing the live nameless. No, oh, thank you for the rose, Taki. Thank you for the follow, Amanda. Hey Sophie. Increasing.
what do you do other than democracy? Is that is that a spelling error? What is my favorite bracelet? Um Honestly, I'm going to have to go with the classic like fishtail bracelet for my favorite just cuz it's like super simple and just still aesthetically pleasing to me for some reason. I don't know. I mean, what do you do after you your brother band stuff? What do I What do I do after what do I do besides looming? Is that what you mean? Um, so besides looming, um, I have two dogs. I do, I work, um, a full-time job as a legal assistant. Um, I will be going back to college in the fall. So, like, basically, like, the end of August, I'll be starting up to earn my bachelor's degree. Um, also I'll be doing that. And, um, craft-wise, I like to paint. I like to color. I can't draw. And then I like to game. And I like to watch TV. And then I like to, um, tan outside as well. Uh, thank you for the follow patience. Hey, Eva. Welcome, welcome. Um, so the color that I'm using right now, this is from, actually I have it right next to me, so I'll show you. This is from the Glow Party Treasure Box, and then um, the purple here is from the Rainbow Room Glitter Treasure Box. The dinosaur is going good. Um, currently on the head right now, row four. I haven't had any bumps in the road yet, aka I haven't had any bands breaking, so that's always good. Why can't I grab it?
And we're making this for an Etsy order that I received. Um, they ordered a mystery dino. So I basically pick um, what colors are used for the dinosaur. Um, I, I won't use colors for dinosaurs that I already have listed on Etsy. Do you ever use knockoff rubber bands? Um, yeah, I do use knockoff rubber bands, but I try, I try not to use knockoff band, I try not to use knockoff bands, um, not for Etsy orders, for, for things for myself, yes, but, um, not for Etsy orders. Thank you for the follow, Ashley. We're going to be doing two rows of singles around this time. You accidentally left. Ah, oh, welcome back. My favorite food, um, my favorite food is, um, any kind of pasta. Um, yeah, the tutorial for this dinosaur is by Creativity is Key on YouTube. For some reason, I couldn't think of the word YouTube. Papa John's. Oh, that's dang. I can't remember the last time I had Papa John's. I'm not gonna lie. They don't. They're not. They're not really by me, as far as I know. But then we have better, better like pizzerias around me. Um, I learned how to loom like 10 years ago, so, um, I've been doing it for a while. How do you loom? Is that what you're asking? Is 
It's basically like um, crochet, but it's just with rubber bands. Yeah, if you search like uh, Lumi Gurumi Basics on YouTube, um, those videos will give you like a good idea on how to loom like this. You do normal ones, like bracelets, or just like stuff on the loom. Doing a single decrease. Uh, we are making a dinosaur for an Etsy order that I received. Um, how did I start Rainbow Loom? Um, there was just like one day I was just like in a random store. And my mom bought me some rubber bands and a loom, and they were they were off brand. I didn't know. I didn't know um what it was, so I did it, and I I stuck with it, and here I am today, still doing it. But yeah, no, I did um. I did bracelets first, and then, like, I made, um, a Rainbow Loom Instagram and found out that there was, you can make a lot more than bracelets, so I branched out into, like, charms on the loom, and then after I did, um, the charms on the loom, I think Crafting Fantastic was, like, in her Happy Food era, so I did Happy Foods. And then after I did Happy Foods, I moved on to like Lumigurumi. Uh, we are making a dinosaur. This is the head. We get to add the eyes on after this row. This is the last row for the head. Um, I am from the United States. I live in New York State. Um, no, I don't think, I don't think it was hard to learn. I was definitely a bit confused when I first learned Lumi Groomy. But as you start making things, it gets, um, gets a lot more, it gets easier for you to understand. This is our dinosaur head. Um, for most Lumi, dang, that was loud. For most Lumi Gurumi, I use safety eyes, so I will be getting some safety eyes.
Um, it didn't take me too long to learn. I really, I don't remember exactly how long because it was, it was a while ago, but I wasn't, I wasn't too terrible at it. As long as you keep practicing, um, you shouldn't have any issues with learning it. Gosh, safety eyes are always the worst to put on. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we place the eyes in the middle as best we can. And they're three spaces apart. I think that looks good. And then we're going to put this next one on. Perfect. Um, my favorite thing to make is either turtles or ducks. Those are my favorite to make. We're going to start on the body. And then we are going to gradually add um, our legs as we go. Oh, thank you for the follow, Danae. I have the hiccups right now. This is so awkward. Thank you for the follow, KDD. Uh, okay, this is going to be a magic ring of eight. Okay, where's my stitch marker? Doing an increase all the way around to now. Hi, Aspen. You should try crocheting, it's just like Rainbow Loom. Yeah, I I do know how to crochet, I just don't like it as much as Rainbow Loom, unfortunately. Hi, Layla. Thank you for the 1.4k likes, guys. 
my ear is low key itchy. I don't know why. Um, singles all the way around four rows of singles so we're gonna count those oh thank you for the follow layla count hers with bands um i'll probably be live until i finish the dinosaur Oh, thank you for the follow, Bing Chan and not my dad dot com. Yeah, it's um, this is for an Etsy order. Um, they ordered a mystery dinosaur. Second row. My contacts are low-key drying out my eyes right now. Row three. We're going to add um, a leg on shortly after our fourth row of singles. Just need some more bands. Okay, one more round and then we shall add some toes or arms, definitely the arms, not the toes. <laughs> Okay, 
Well, thank you for sharing the live. My sister's name is Ashley. Probably the hardest part for the dinosaur is adding, stitching the head on. So you have to make sure the eyes are mostly even with the arms and the legs. Probably the most difficult part. Okay, perfect. We get to add on our first round of legs. And apparently, I only put them one space apart, but I don't know. You find. Let me take a look. No, I don't want to put them in front of that. That's too low. I'm gonna put it up one more. It's in one space. And we're just tying these in with knots. And then we're just going to add our other leg a space away. And I think that looks pretty good. It's a pretty good placement. Do you have tutorials? Um, yeah, I do have, I do have a couple tutorials on my YouTube channel, um, for rainbow loom items. At least, I try to make as many tutorials as I can, but, you know, working for a full-time job, does that, doesn't make that easy for me. Okay, now we're doing, um, three rounds of singles. Thank you for the follow, Mel. Does your YouTube... What? I don't know. I don't know what the question is there. <laughs> um, my YouTube name is Alexis in Life. Is, is that what you wanted? Yeah, I have three bracelet tutorials. No, that that's a good weekend project, Mel. I definitely support that. Well, thank you for the follow, 
Jenny. Oops. Oops, that one slipped off my hook. One more row till we add more um, legs. I really like this, like, turquoisey minty like color it's like sparkly but like it's not like sparkly it's like shiny but I don't know not at the same time Hey. Yes, this is our dinosaur's body. Now I get to um put the remaining two legs on. Or yeah, I should say legs because they are legs. How is there like dust in this already? Like, these bands have literally never seen the light of day until today. Okay. And then, um, why? These legs go on just a row before. Thank you for the follow, Ari. Thank you for the follow, Morgan. I was watching like a couple minutes ago and now I have got quite a bit done. <laughs> yes, um, we are making the dinosaur's body. Um, next step after this would be to s attach the head. Yeah, well, well, we have to close like the body first, but the next step will be attaching the head. That looks kind of small. Only bad thing is. Oh, nice, nice. Yes, the head is way done. Um, okay, I think that looks pretty even, but if not, you can always change it. I don't like it, of course. Yeah, okay, cute. That looks cute. Thank you for the follow F. Um, so now we're doing for this row we're doing a single decrease.
to increase. And then just ending on a single. Now we're gonna add some stopping. Oh, thank you, Smiley. Yes, I am using rubber bands. Um, it is basically like crochet, but your material isn't yarn, it's just rubber bands. Thank you for the follow, Ada. Add a little more stuffing to the body. Now we are going to close the body. Okay, try again. <laughs> Completely lost that one. Decreasing until my hole is gone. Uh, we are making a dinosaur for an Etsy order that I received for a mystery dinosaur. Okay, perfect. So our dinosaur body is completed. <sighs> the next step is probably my least favorite step for the dinosaur. We have to add the head onto the body, which is probably my least favorite part to do for the dinosaur, but it is the hardest part. And once the hardest part is over, the rest of the dinosaur should go smoothly. Add some stuffing to our head. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is probably the ideal placement right there but hopefully hopefully I can um, I can do that hi Jessica okay I'll try our best to keep this um, even as possible so we don't have to make edits Cause you know, I hate after um, you sew something on, having to go back and redo it because it's not straight.
so far so smoothly. Thank you for the yeah. Thank you for the follow smile. Hi, thank you for joining. Oops. We're making a dinosaur. Oops. Lost that one again. It didn't break though, so that's good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this was an Etsy order that I received um, for a mystery dinosaur. I didn't know we can do that. Yeah, you can um, basically crochet with rubber bands instead of yarn. It's called Rainbow Loom. Oops, I missed that one. Thank you for the follow, Brie. Oh, so me, me and you are the are we're the opposite. I so I can crochet, but I prefer rainbow loom. I know it's it's a little weird, but I prefer doing the rainbow loom. Okay, there's our head. Um, it's on there pretty well. Bye, Smiley. It's on there pretty evenly, evenly as it could be for the method that I used to put it on there. So basically, I'm just going to make sure that all of our slip knots are super tight. And we're going to hide these in the body. Hide these in the body. This one doesn't look to be that tight. <laughs> oh, I just got just got a weird notification from TikTok about seeing my live violates something. I'm not really sure what that was about, but I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, perfect. Um, now, you know, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur, so we have to add the dinosaur's tail. I made a bee, it's right next to me. Well, half made bee, it's missing its wings. <laughs> Can't fly without his wings. Okay, so the tail is eight stitches, so I'm gonna start somewhere in the center near the butt.
He's a flyless bee. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Perfect. I don't plan on finishing y'all. Well, I was trying to think of a bug that looks like a bee without wings, but I couldn't think of anything. Let me do five rows for its tail. Um, it's summer, so it's like, the weather we've been having, we've been having, like, it's been hotter than usual, um, it's usually around, like, 70, 75, but we've been more in the 80, 85 range, so it's, um, kind of hot right now. It's so satisfying to see you do this. Oh, thank you, I'm glad. Oh, I'm doing the purple for the, like, spikes. I just gotta find my stash of them. <laughs> True. Yeah, you gotta find your stash, of course. Vermont had another flood. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I never opened. They were there for a reason. I didn't plan on going back. That's funny.
Okay, almost. This is our last row on the tail. Got half of them. That's good. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm glad to hear that pancakes. Um, yeah, for some reason, a lot of people love like my organization and like storage tours. I'm like, it's probably because I have like way too many rubber bands, just like way too many. I kind of want to leave that point for the tail. Uh, don't don't worry, Ashley. Um, I am almost done with the dinosaur. The last. Let me. I have to look at another dinosaur that I have because it's it's been a while since I made a dinosaur. So I have to look at another dinosaur to see how the like um. Not like tail, like accent color goes on. So this is a this is a finished dinosaur. So the only thing I have left is to do um the accent color part. So I won't keep you guys much longer. Um. Okay. It doesn't look. Okay. I'm pretty sure I should know what I'm doing. Oh, thank you for the 1.9k likes, guys. Okay. So I'm going to use this um, glitter, like, purple color from the newest Rainbow Room treasure box, the glitter box. Hopefully these colors look nice together, and I hope that the person who ordered this likes these colors. Because they did order a mystery dinosaur. I think that looks really cute. Gotta keep this as straight as possible for it to look its best. What should I make? I don't know. I'm probably gonna go probably gonna go to bed after I finish this dinosaur low key. How about a pillow? <laughs> Yeah, so the dinosaur tutorial is by Creativity is Key on YouTube.
yes, dinosaur is definitely um, a very cute creation to have. How do I do the magic ring again? I forgot. Oh no, we forgot. Uh, it's by Creativity is Key. So our completed dinosaur. This is so adorable. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you the spelling because it's a bit odd. I don't know if this is how it's spelled on YouTube, but this might be how her name is spelled on Instagram. But that's what I have written down. But. I'm actually obsessed with this color combination. It looks so good together. Like, a very, very cute. Whew. Definitely past my bedtime, though. Definitely feeling, um, the 1130 vibes. Oh, thank you for the, the likes, Rose. I'm glad you could stop by. Okay, perfect. Well... I do thank everyone who has come to my live and stayed and watched me make this dinosaur. Um, I should be back on live again tomorrow. I typically go live. I typically go live on Saturdays for looming. So I hope I will see you all again soon. Good night. Bye. Thanks for coming.